Hello and welcome to my VTOL VR skin tutorial. I cover basically almost everything you need to get a simple skin or a decent skin made. If you want to make more advanced skill, skins, that's more into like the substance painter style of um, workflow. If you don't have money, then this tutorial is for you, um, if you're just like me. So all you need in this tutorial is Blender and um, suitable image editing software. If you uh, if you want to do like mir mirroring and stuff, and finally but not least VTOL VR because you need to get the reference files and stuff. I'm going to be covering how to look around in Blender. Middle mouse button, you look around. Shift middle mouse button, you pan. And then scroll wheel, you zoom. Now, if you're lost in like the corners and you're trying to paint, if you want to head back to your object, select that object. Hold tilde all, which is um, left of your one, or above your tab, or below your escape button, and just hold that. Move your mouse to view selected, and release it. You can also look left, right, front, and back here, top, bottom as well. If you're trying to do precise painting, one more thing: if you click numpad five, that's just orthographic view, um, which is like you can see the difference if you prefer that kind of view then I'm too lazy to explain what it, it, it actually means but whatever um, now um, make sure you're in select mode select box mode just select all of these none of these are needed click delete on your keyboard or if you if you're like me have it on your mouse like a child next you want to go to file import FBX and you just want to open this up you want to go into your VTOL VR folder. So where do you have VTOL VR installed? For me, it's C, Program Files, 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, VTOL VR. But depending where you installed it, it's going to be different. So what you're going to do, you're going to go to Livery References. Um, here are the base game aircraft. So you have the um, AV-42C, the F-A-26B, and the F-45A. Now, if you want to do DLC aircraft, like I'm going to be doing, it's going to be under DLC, this one's the helicopter, and this one's the plane. The reason I know this is because the helicopter's ID is lower than the planes. This is the T-55, um, so I'm going to do doing the T-55. Just click on the FBX, click Import FBX, and then it will be in the scene. Next, you go over to the shading tab up here, click on it, and then click on the aircraft again until you see this until you see this when you see this take your mouse over to add search and then just search image texture once you've searched image texture just drag this color this little color thing to base color good job you have a texture now um, to make the texture though you have to go to click new here and just 4000 by 4000 okay now just click OK there you go you have your skin um, head over back up here head to texture paint and then you can just paint on your aircraft the first thing we're going to cover you see this this is where you get your brushes now you might be asking I mean, you might notice you don't have any brushes. So where are you going to go to get these brushes? I'm going to just tell you, you're going to do a simple Google search. This simple Google search is, give me a second, is Blender Brushes Texture Paint. You'll find this in Blend Swap, Small Brushes Pack Texture Paint. And you can just download it. Uh, I think you have to... You have to think logged in. Yeah, you have to logged in. You have to be logged in to that download. Make an account, whatever, and download it. After you download it, so let's think. Let's say I downloaded it, even though I don't have it. Um, just go to file, append, find your um, blend file, which is. I don't know where my original one is actually. <laughs> I can't fucking find that one. But let me just like append. Can, uh, let me just append the ones from this one. So I'm going to click this and I'm just going to click brushes. I'm going to select all of these. Uh, but I scroll down to the bottom for the easiest. Just click shift, 
click and that will import everything when you press that pen. Those should appear now. Um, so these are these are the ones I use for painting. I use a hard if I need a hard surface because look, it doesn't have much anti-analyzing on the edge here. Um, radius increases the affected area. Um, strength affects how strong the brush is. Um, and literally that's about it. You might be wondering why this is a finished there, crap, that's because I'm re-recording this part because um, earlier it was badly made, okay. So first of all, you wanna go view selected, you wanna go edit mode or click tab, and you wanna go to the part you wanna separate. So I wanna separate this. You have three options here. First of all, you could just hold um, Z, wireframe, and then just select all of it by doing a select box. The alternative solution is going to, you see these up here, just click face mode, and then just click L, and just click L on all of these, and then, yeah. Click um, separate, which is P, and then click um, selection. After this, you can just tab out, just go here, go to texture panes, and you can use the fill tool to your heart content. Yay. Next up is stabilize stroke. So this is my favorite feature. Um, to what, this keeps me sane at night, whenever I'm painting. Uh, I'm gonna go to this one, I'm gonna do the same thing, whatever. I'm gonna go draw, and I'm just gonna go over to stroke. So stroke, you see I have this tick, Normally you shouldn't have this tick, but when it, when you tick it, it's, gonna, it's an incredibly useful feature. Let me just change the color. Let me just make the radius a bit smaller. And you notice there's like a little line following my paint. Let me make it more noticeable. So you see how it's it's delayed. So this will let you get a bit more precision. And also it's really good for like making circles and stuff. So if you're trying to make a fancy pants slippery like what I'm doing right now, um, that actually looks horrible, holy crap. Then that's the tool you want to use. Next, my favorite, my next favorite tool, so if I just set it back to normal, because I'm going to turn this off as well. If you go to stroke, stroke method, line, and you just do this. When you release it, it will make a line. So this is what I use for like, if I want to follow the um, shape of the aircraft, I will normally like do this because this lets me get the paint all nice and well. Skip this part if you're not interested in image editing software and all that stuff. Hello ladies and gents, you might notice this is a new livery. Um, again, it was bad. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna cover mirroring. So I want this face on the other side as well. Now our first step is to save this image. So we go to image, save as, Let's go desktop, yep, let's just save this as um, smileyskin.png. Now we want to um, go to UV editing, make sure you have everything of this plane selected. If you don't have anything of the plane selected, just click A. And if you see all of this, just drag and select, or just click A, like a normal person. Go to UV and then go to export UV layout and then just export it. I already have it exported multiple. I've exported this thing multiple times over and over again. So it's, it's, it's here as well. But let me export it again. Now you want to go to your image editing software of choice. So what we're doing is now, um, let me show you guys. I am going to go to my desktop images. I'm going to grab my my smiley skin, I'm just gonna drag it in. You might notice, you might notice, where the fuck are the lines? Well, you wanna drag the UV in as a new layer. I've already added the UV in as a new layer, you can see exactly what's going on. Here's the nose, here's the main fuselage part, here's the top of the fuselage, yeah. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to our first layer again, where the smiley skin is. I'm just gonna copy this, I'm gonna paste this, and I'm just gonna go to layers, flip, vertical, 
um, for your software of choice that's also what I um, I assume they have a function similar to that if you want to make it as accurate as possible try figuring out where the similar geometry for both sides are so if I want it to be exact I can just look at this see if it's there I can see this so I'm just gonna make this go to the right okay I'm happy with this I can just delete this merge these click control s okay go to blender and now you want to go to image and you want to go reload or press alt alt r to reload it now if I go into material preview a it's on both sides I usually do this for patterns and stuff now I will tell you I don't like Baja's UVs most not because they're bad or anything but I'm just saying um, <laughs> whenever you want to clone from this side to this side it's like slightly misaligned so you have to manually align some a lot of stuff so if you're ever doing like anything that involves the engine inlets or the bottom of the plane be careful with that um, I don't know if there's a way to paint on both sides at the same time I'm sure there is somebody's gonna say how to do it um, I just forgot that is it for um, mirroring let's slap an image on this so what we're gonna do is you're gonna texture paint you're gonna go to um, paint you're gonna set this to white the reason we want to set it to white is because if your image has color in it you want that color to be as accurate as possible and so that's why we're doing um, white you want to go to uh, you see this little pop-up thing here I'm, I'll make sure to put some arrows in post I'm probably not gonna but you know go to tall scroll down texture click new and then go to this checkerboard icon which is the texture properties um, and make sure the type is image or movie if it is not image or movie then change it to image and movie it should be image or movie click open and then just find an image you want to use um, let's see what's a funny meme I have what's a funny meme uh, okay let's say I want to put this then I'm gonna just scroll down back here again I'm gonna change the mapping to stencil now you will see this appear on your screen um, just you can you can move it around by holding right click if you want to scale it hold shift right click and if you want to scale it up or like right just click X um, for wideness and Y for height so X for wideness and Y for height you want to just resize it to whatever size you want I'm going to make it a bit smaller as well I want to just slap on the tail here I'm going to change my radius and I'm just going to paint it boom so you see that's painted on my plane now so what we're going to do first of all we're going to go um, to our texture I mean UV editing you're going to image and you're going to save the image as and you're just going to find a place to save it so I'm going to save it as Bob next you want to open up your VTOL VR folder. So I have my VTOL VR folder here, and I have my desktop folder here. I will just um, find my skin. I'm going to drag my skin into um, editor resources. Now, while your skin is in editor, res editor resources, we're just going to open up VL VTOL VR. So you're going to go Steam, VTOL VR. You know how to do this. I assume you've played the game before. Okay, once you're loaded into this screen, which you might not be able to hear me because there's fucking planes flying overhead, go to mission editor. And then go to liveries. Then you want to click new livery. And you just want to call it whatever you want. So ours is Despicable Monster. Because I don't know what the fuck I made. Um, let's just give it a name. Monster. Make sure to, um, you see in the allowed vehicles category, make sure to tech, check T55 and then untick the AV42C or whatever you're actually, whatever aircraft you're using to, 
I forgot about you might have it painted something else. Um, and we're going to select bob.png. So we're going to click open. And there you go, you see a preview of your skin. If you don't, then something's fucked up across the way. Just DM me and we can sort that out. Um, description, let's give it a description. Blah, 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 blah. That's how I'm feeling right now. And there you go, you have your skin finished. It's now in the game. If you want other people to see it, click upload to workshop. Um, set the ice and put item visibility to unlisted or public. Private will mean nobody can download it. Friends means that only your friends, I mean, everybody can download this, uh, but it is um, visible to, uh, it is temporarily downloaded for everyone else. Same with unlisted. So they can pull your file, your livery. So yeah, at least that's what I heard on the modern discord. I think if I'm not wrong and just click upload. I'm not uploading this. <laughs> I'm not gonna upload this, but that's about it. That's the tutorial. I've explained everything. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, put them in the comments, message me on Discord, ping me in the VTOL VR Discord. Actually, don't, that's a bad idea, but whatever.